this goddamn inconsiderate weezer. In walks this fucking lame ass goddamn prick with fucking dreadlocks. He looked like a white Bob Marley with a big fucking sand ass. He comes up to me with his fucking hand out. So I walked up to him and I said, hi, Ed. And this is not verbatim because I said a lot of words real quick. <clears throat> but I said, I just want to tell you what a fucking miserable fucking piece of shit you are, you goddamn no good cocksucker, for fucking making fun of Jim Ross's Bell's palsy. Now I will digress here. Here's a fucking guy who's given 30 years of his life to the business, Jim Ross, who is the best announcer maybe asterisk Gordon Soley, but who's the best announcer now of modern times, who is a workaholic, who gives his life to the business, who loves the business, and here this little fucking prick comes along from writing Duck Man or whatever the fuck he did in California and took two wrestling classes at Slammer's Wrestling Gym and thinks he deserves a goddamn spot in the wrestling business and goes on national television and makes fun of a guy's not, he wasn't doing fat jokes. He wasn't doing goddamn bad hair jokes. He wasn't doing ugly jokes. He was making fun of a goddamn disability, a disease, a fucking paralysis of this guy's face that almost cost him his career. And he goes on television and makes fun of it. He's the most disreputable, miserable fucking piece of shit human brain that, being that's ever breathed there, in my opinion. And I felt someone should tell him so. So I said, you, you fucking miserable piece of shit, for making fun of Jim Ross's Bell's palsy, I want to tell you that you're a goddamn cocksucker. Fuck you, you fucking miserable asshole. And he's like, oh, really? I said, yeah, really. I said, Jim Ross has more talent in his little finger than you got in your whole stinking body. It's a goddamn shame you ever got in the fucking wrestling business to begin with. And fuck you, fuck you, fuck you in the ass. And he's like, oh, really? Well, I said I wouldn't hit him, but I didn't say I wouldn't spit on him, so I hot too, and I spit in his fucking eye. And I said, now, the parking lot's 15 feet that way, you little cocksucker. You want to do anything about it? I don't know that I can whip him, but I was willing to try, whereas he didn't even have the goddamn balls. If you took Ed Ferrara's fucking nuts and you fucking threw him into a goddamn drinking straw, they'd look like a kernel of corn rolling into a storm drain. He's a goddamn cowardly, miserable fucking prick. He had the chance to fucking defend himself, he had the chance to fight me, and he wouldn't do it. Not because I'm goddamn King Kong or Godzilla, because he's a ballless, nutless, cowardly, yellow-bellied fucking prick. But I felt like somebody had to tell him, if you fuck with a friend of mine, I learned this from my mother and my father and a lot of people I've been around and I respect, if you fuck with a friend of mine, then you're fucking with me. It wasn't about somebody didn't do a job for me, or somebody didn't pay me back this money, or somebody didn't fucking give me interview time, or any wrestling pissy ass bullshit. He made fun of a person who I respect and who's been a friend to me. He made a fun of their fucking disease, their disability that almost cost them their career. And I think he should be run over by a goddamn 18-wheeler in a fucking street. And fuck it.